close the eyes for a moment. And let the face soften. So feel like the face is just spreading out wide, like the cheekbones are getting wider, the eyebrows are getting wider. And there's just a lot of space across the face instead of everything coming in toward the midline. And take a deeper breath in through the nose. And exhale out of the mouth. Keep the face wide as you do this. Take a big breath in through the nose. Feel the chest rise. Exhale out of the mouth. Last one, just like this. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Then we'll breathe in through the nose, same as we did before, but this time, keep the lips sealed on the exhale and slowly push the air out of the nose. Keep going with this breath. Notice if the face has moved and if it started to come in toward the midline. Can you keep it soft and wide? And then reach the arms overhead, taking a nice long stretch on your mat. So if the feet are wide, bring them to hip width distance. Press out through the feet, press out through the fingertips. Notice if you're arching the back a lot, hug the belly in just a little bit so the front ribs don't puff out too much. And then keep this engagement in the legs. Just reach the arms forward, turn the palms to face up, hug the belly in, lift the chest. So feet are down on the mat. You're looking up to keep the chest up. And then see if you can hover the feet away from the mat. And you'll definitely feel the core start to turn on. Just keep reaching forward toward the feet. Keep the legs engaged, especially those inner thighs. And as you reach forward, bring the legs up. So you're making an L shape with the body. Shoulder blades are still lifted away from the mat. You're still reaching forward. See if you can lift the chest a little bit higher. Looking up will help. And then interlace the fingers back behind the head. Still looking up, elbows wide. Keep that face wide. On an inhale, bring the head back down toward the mat. You don't have to touch it. You can keep it lifted. And then on the exhale, lift up. So why don't we say inhale, go back halfway, whatever that feels like. And then on the exhale, come back up. Inhale back halfway, keep the core hugging in and exhale back up. Inhale back, exhale up. This time inhale back. Exhale up, you can leave the legs right where they are, or you can start to hover them away from you, like maybe a third of the way, and that'll definitely be harder. So if it's too much of a challenge, just come right back to where we were. You're just fine to find your, you're trying to find your edge. So inhale back, exhale up, still halfway. Inhale back, exhale up, inhale back. Exhale up, stay right where you are, or maybe take it a step further. So you're not quite halfway. Inhale back. Exhale up. Inhale back. Exhale up. One more. Inhale back. Exhale up. Bring the legs all the way back up if they're not there. Inhale back. Feel the difference. Exhale up. You might even be able to lift the chest a little bit higher. Inhale back. Exhale up. So there's a little bit more range of motion. Inhale back. Exhale up. This time, stay up. Widen the legs like a V shape. And it's up to you how wide you go. You're not going trying to go very wide. And then reach the fingers up. It helps to go to steeple mudra with the index fingers pointing out. Then point forward as you lift the chest. And then you'll just come up halfway. So same thing we were doing before. Exhale forward, pointing between the legs, keeping the legs active, and then inhale back up halfway. Exhale forward, inhale up. Exhale forward, inhale back up. Last one. Exhale forward, inhale back up. Bring the legs back together. Hug the knees in, rest the head, rock side to side. And then you'll use the hands, roll over to one side to bring yourself up to seated. 
turn to face the long edge of your mat, the side of your mat. Whichever way you can face the screen is fine. And then you'll bring the hands back behind you. You'll bring the feet out wide. And so you're sitting back in a reclined position with your hands for support. Feet are wide. You're just going to bring the knees side to side. And they might not go that far. That's totally fine. But you should feel some length in the thigh as you go side to side. And it's a nice soft way to start to open up the hips. And then you'll notice maybe your hips are starting to move forward. See if you can keep them in the same spot. And then as we do that, so we just fired up the core. It's ready to help support you in whatever you ask it to do. Maybe you start to bring, keep moving the, the legs side to side. Maybe you start to bring the hands in toward the body a little bit and then notice how this changes. The core has to engage a little bit. You're still sitting up tall. You're still moving the knees side to side. And the hips are starting to become more open with this movement. Some of you might be comfortable with bringing the hands together like prayer and still moving the knees side to side. And you still have to hug that core in. The tricky thing is not moving forward. You might have to scoot yourself back with your hands if you start to go too far forward. But you'll just go side to side. It doesn't matter if you're using the hands or not. You're just going to a place where you feel comfortable and playing with this movement as we open up the hips. Next time the knees come all the way over to the left, stay there and you're coming into a 90-90 shape. So we want this right foot to be under the knee. We want the left knee to be right in front of the, the left hip, so not over to the left. And then you face the left knee. So to make this easier, you can lean way over to the left. To find your edge, you're trying to come up upright so that you're even on the hips which is really difficult to do. So somewhere in between leaning over to the left and then coming up, facing forward, straight over that left knee. And you can use both hands. You can come up onto the fingertips. Some of you might find it easier to lean forward a little bit, just play. And all we're doing is opening up the hips in this 90-90 shape. So don't be too hung up on where the, the torso is. And we'll switch to the other side. So depending on where you are, you may be able to bring the hands together like prayer or you just use the hands and you'll slowly come over the other way for 90-90. The right knees in, right in front of the hip, left knee outside of the hip. Keep the left heel under the knee, right heel in line with the right knee. Bring the chest over the right knee or you can lean over to the right and use that right hand for support or maybe you come a little bit more upright. And for most of us, that left hip is probably lifted up pretty high. That's fine. Just keep pointing the chest forward wherever you are and find a place where you can breathe in this hip opening. And then we'll slowly come back to center facing the side of the mat just so that you can get to tabletop. So come to all fours. And we'll do a few rounds of cat cow breath, staying with that movement. So on an inhale, bring the heart forward. On the exhale, round the spine. So we just put all that movement into the legs. Now we're taking it into the spine. Keep going on your own, inhaling forward. Exhale, round. Maybe close the eyes as you go back and forth. And see if you can incorporate the whole spine. Sometimes we forget about the lower back completely as we're doing this. And especially in the rounding, you wanna get that rounding all the way down to the lower back. Last round, wherever you are, go forward and back, take your time. Come back to a neutral spine. Stretch the right leg back behind you. Bring the knee to the nose. So same thing, scoop the belly round the spine. Inhale, extend that right leg back behind you. On the exhale, bring the right knee out to the right tricep. So get it up high and then step the right foot next to the right hand. So that left knee still down. 
And then from here, what's nice is tucking the back toes and stretching that left leg way back. So you're above the left knee. Hands can stay down right underneath the shoulders. Bring the chest forward between the gateway of the arms. So getting a little bit deeper into the hips. Some of you are pretty open. If it feels natural to come down onto the forearms, that's an option. Or you could put a block down if you have one underneath the chest and bring yourself down that way. But most of you are probably good here. It's just an easy opening for now. Good. So press down into the hands if you haven't already. Bring that right knee back underneath you. Come back to tabletop. So you probably scooted the knees back a little bit. Then stretch the left leg back behind you, lifting it. Hug the belly in as you bring the knee to the nose, rounding the upper back. Then inhale, extend. This time, exhale, left knee, left tricep. Get it up high, look forward. Step that left foot outside of the left hand. Tuck the back toes, scoot the right knee back, and that'll help you lift the belly, lift the chest, look forward. Same thing you did on the other side if it's available on this side. Maybe the hands stay down just in front of the shoulders. Maybe you come down a little lower with the chest, but be respectful of being at the beginning of your practice and not the end. Press down into the hands. Bring that left knee back next to the right knee. So the knees are back behind you. Keep them there. Start to move the shoulders forward over the wrist. Hug the lower belly up. Reach the chest forward. And then low, lie all the way down onto your stomach. So you're lying flat. Hands are still down by the lower ribs. Press down into the tops of the feet. Inhale up for cobra. Maybe not the deepest cobra. Hug those outer elbows in. Broaden across the collarbones and then exhale, bring it back down. Let's do two more. Nice firm legs. Hug the belly in, reach the heart forward. Inhale up. Exhale, let that go. This time, inhale up, cobra. Hover the hands just a couple inches away from the mat. See if you can keep hugging those outer elbows in as you point the big toes straight back. Then set the hands down. Set the, the head back down, tuck the toes, fire up the legs, fire up the belly, push the mat away from you, coming up to plank pose, downward facing dog, hips lift up and back. So first downward facing dog, you can pedal out the feet, you can put a nice generous bend in the legs but see how much length you can get in the spine. So press into the whole hand as you spread the fingers evenly and push the hips up and back. Imagine that adjustment in the studio where a teacher comes and puts their hands on their, your hips and pushes them way back and you get all of that length. And then notice if you puffed out the chest, can you hug the lower rib in a little bit, hugging the belly in a little bit. And then the right leg lifts up and back. Knee to nose. Come back to three-legged down dog. Right leg up. Right knee, right tricep. Get it up high. Look straight forward. Reach the heart forward. Come back to three-legged down dog. This time, right foot steps up between the hands. Come into a runner's lunge. Keep the fingertips down. You're welcome to use blocks if you have them. But get nice and long. See if you can level out the hips. Keep reaching the chest forward. So the hips should feel like you're getting a little lower and the chest is moving forward. Keep the feet where they are. You're staying on the ball of the back foot. Straighten the front leg, fold over the front leg. The hands can walk back underneath the shoulders to give you more space. So that right hip pulls back a little bit, left hip pulls forward a little bit till you feel like they're right next to one another. And come forward to your lunge, Step the palms, Step. lower all the way down to the back carefully. Toes 
toes, fire up the legs, fire up the belly. Can you push yourself up to plank all in one line? So there isn't any dipping anywhere. And then back to downward facing dog. Left leg reaches up and back, three-legged down dog. Knee to nose. Exhale back, three-legged down dog. Knee to tricep, same side, left knee, left tricep. Back to three-legged down dog. Step the left foot up between the hands, runner's lunge. Maybe pop up onto the fingertips or blocks. So nice long stride in your lunge here. And then work toward a straighter front leg, maybe walking the fingertips back so that they're underneath the shoulders or somewhere in between, wherever you find a nice lengthening in the legs. Left hip moves back a little, right hip forward a little. Inhale forward to a lunge, plant the palms, step back to plank pose, lower all the way down to the mat. Inhale up, cobra. Exhale, release. Keep those legs fired up as you tuck the toes, hug the belly in, push back up to plank pose. Downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, start to tiptoe the feet forward, up between the hands. Take your time, just walk them forward. Feet hip width distance apart at the top of the mat. Clasp opposite elbows. Let the head and the neck go. So for some of us, that's really difficult. We think the neck is relaxed. What helps is nodding the head yes a few times and then no a few times. Switch the clasp of the elbows. Shift the weight more forward into the balls of the feet, lifting the hips up toward the sky. Hands to the mat, inhale up halfway. So bring the hands to the sides of the legs, reach the chest forward, broadening across the shoulders. And then exhale, fold. Let's do that two more times. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold, last one. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold. This time, inhale, circle the arms all the way up to the top. Bring the hands together and down in front of the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up, halfway. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step back to plank pose. Lower down halfway to chaturanga. Your choice, cobra, maybe up dog. Come onto the tops of the feet. Open up across the chest. Push the mat away from you. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Still pushing the hips up and back. Nice long spine, hugging the lowest front ribs in. Bend the knees, look forward, step, walk, maybe lightly hop the feet forward. Inhale up halfway, reach the chest forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up. Bring the palms together overhead and down in front of the heart. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up halfway, exhale, hands down. Keep reaching the chest forward, step back to plank pose, lower down with control, halfway chaturanga. Inhale up for whatever back bend feels best today. Exhale back, down dog. Few breaths in downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forward, bring the feet forward, nice and softly. Inhale up halfway, exhale fold. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up. Hands come together at the top and down in front of the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, hands down, step back to plank, 
Lower down halfway to Chaturanga. Inhale up for your back bend. Bring it back to downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up and back. Bring the knee to the nose on the inhale. Step the right foot through up between the hands. Back in that runner's lunge with the feet hip width distance apart. Keep the feet hip width is important for stability. If they're too close together, your balance will be way off. And you can even widen them a little bit more if you're already feeling a little wobbly. We're gonna bring the arms back behind us and hover the chest low over this front thigh. So feel like you're reaching the chest forward and stretching the hips back, but keep that right knee over the right ankle if you can. And if that right hip is swinging out to the right, hug it in so it's right behind the right knee and in line with the rest of your joints. Find that breath, slowly inhaling and exhaling through the nose, up and down the back of the throat. Good, then bring the hands back down to the mat. Walk the hands over to the left. So you're turning all 10 toes to face the side. Legs are straight, hands underneath the shoulders. You're just coming up halfway and you'll feel the hips shift right over the heels. So not behind the heels, not in front of the heels, but right over the heels. And then from here, walk the hands over to the left leg. If you can touch it, great. If not, just reach. Spin the inner thighs like they're going back behind you. Hands come back down in front of the shoulders, come up halfway, turn the toes to the top of the mat, finding that runner's lunge with the feet hip width. Reach the arms alongside the body like we did before and then this time rise up to crescent pose. Open it up, warrior two. Press down into the legs, lift the chest up as the hips go down. See if you can keep that right knee right over the right ankle. Windmill the hands down to the mat. Optional vinyasa on the way back to downward facing dog. These are all your choice. You can modify them, skip them. Keep your practice in a place where it's nourishing and it's giving you what you need for your day. Left leg reaches up and back. Knee to nose. Inhale back, three-legged down dog. Left knee, left tricep, three-legged down dog. Left foot up between the hands, runner's lunge. Start with the fingertips down so you can get your feet set up, body set up, nice long stride. And then when you feel ready, press down into the feet and the legs, hover the arms back behind you. Keep the chest low. In the hands, it's like you're holding something like a beach ball between the hands. So it should feel like the arms are kind of squeezing together and they're firm. They're not relaxed reaching back. See if that left knee can go straight over the, the ankle, stacked right above it. Keep pressing back through the right heel. Fingertips come down to the mat. Walk the hands over to the right. Turn all 10 toes to face the side of the mat. So maybe the toes point a little bit in or straight forward, but not out. And then as you fold over the legs, walk the hands over to the right leg, so the back leg. They touch great. If they don't, don't worry about it.
hands back in front of the shoulders, come up just halfway, then walk the hands toward the top of the mat, find that runner's lunge, feet hip width distance apart, reach the arms alongside the body, hovering the chest low, rise all the way up to crescent pose. Open up, warrior two. Use both legs evenly. So not just pressing down into the left leg, but pressing down into the right leg, especially the outer edge of that back foot. Send that left knee straight forward. Maybe you come in a little deeper into the pose, but lift up from the chest and the waist. Windmill the hands down to the mat, maybe a vinyasa, however you want, meet back and downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, look forward, bring the feet forward. Feet are hip width distance apart. Inhale up halfway, exhale fold. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up. Bring the palms together and down in front of the heart. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up halfway. On the exhale, fold as wide as you need the feet to be, come down into a yogi squat. So you can turn the heels in, toes out. Some of you might be able to keep the toes and the heels pointing in, uh, straight forward, and that's great. Hands come together in front of the heart. Lift the lower belly, open up across the chest. If you have the elbows inside of the knees, it's a really great way to not allow the knees to cave in, which is what they kind of naturally want to do. Press down into the soles of the feet, squeeze all those tiny muscles around the hips for support so they're not relaxed. Then you lift the pelvic floor, you find that length in the spine as you keep the chest open and the face is wide, it's not scrunching in as you breathe. And you listen to the sound of the breath, trying to keep it as long as you can. Take another inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down in front of you, straighten the legs, heel toe the feet back to hip width distance. Inhale up halfway, exhale, hands down, step back to plank pose, any way you want, back to downward facing dog. Right leg goes up and back. Knee to nose, three-legged down dog. Knee to tricep, right knee, right tricep. Get it up high, look forward, exhale back, three-legged down dog. Right foot steps up between the hands, runners lunge. Reach those arms alongside the body, hovering the chest low. Keep the arms firm like you have hold of something behind you. Keep the lunge in the front leg, keep the back leg strong. You're gonna keep the chest about this height. We're gonna turn the toes to the left, coming into a wide-legged squat. So toes out, heels in, reach the arms up. Press down into the soles of the feet, lift the belly. So imagine you're leaning up against the wall, your chest is lifted, hips and shoulders right, or shoulders right over the hips. Then straighten the legs, bring the arms out wide, angle in the left toes, turn the right toes all the way out. We're coming into triangle. So shift the hips back, reach that right arm forward, then bring the right hand down softly and reach the left arm up. Exhale. 
as you press down evenly into both legs, open the chest to the sky, turn that top palm, the left palm to face forward and reach it up and over the ear, getting a little longer on the whole left side of the body. As you hug the belly in and open the chest up toward the sky, maybe that right arm floats forward. So you're holding that beach ball again and you're shining the chest up toward the sky. Feeling that core turn on, legs work. Keep holding that beach ball, come all the way up to standing. Legs stay the same, warrior two. Bend the front legs, spread the arms out wide. And reach back with that left arm so you feel the left side of the chest open. Windmill the hands down to the mat. Step back to plank pose, maybe a vinyasa. Left leg reaches up and back. Knee to nose. Three-legged down dog. Left knee, left tricep. Three-legged down dog. Step that left foot all the way up between the hands. Set up your runner's lunge. When you feel ready, reach the arms back behind you. Hover the chest low. So as you breathe here, keeping the whole body engaged, we'll slowly start to open this up to the right. Keep the chest this high, heels in, toes out, reach the arms up. Wide-legged squat. And then think about a nice long spine, lifting the lower belly, keeping the chest nice and open. Maybe you sit down a little deeper. It's up to you where you put the hips. Trying to find where it's a nice challenge for you, where you're not struggling. And you can still stay with the breath. Straighten the legs. Keep reaching up. Turn the toes to point forward. Angle in the right toes. Turn the left toes all the way out. Bring the arms out wide. Triangle. Shift the hips back. Reach that left arm forward. Bring it down as the right arm reaches up. Trikonasana. And the tiniest little bend in that left knee, the front leg, especially if you have the ability to lock that joint, the knee joint. Turn that right palm to face forward. Reach the right arm up and over. Notice that the chest cave down toward the mat. Can you still open it up as you reach over the ear? Then maybe that left hand gets light and it reaches forward. You have that beach ball between the hands. Legs are nice and strong. Keep opening the chest and rise all the way up to standing. Warrior two, bend the front leg, spread the arms out wide. Look over that left hand. Reach back with the right hand. Imagine somebody pulling that right wrist back. Send that left knee more forward as that right wrist gets pulled back. Windmill the hands down to the mat. Step back to plank pose. Vinyasa, slow and controlled. Beautiful. Couple breaths and downward facing dog. Then bend the knees, look forward, step, hop, walk the feet forward, up between the hands. Inhale up halfway, exhale fold. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up, bring the palms together, down in front of the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold back into Malasana, yogi squat. Bring the hips down, hands come together in front of the heart. So we always want the knees and the toes going in the same direction, particularly in our squats. That's always a good rule of thumb. So you can always just take a peek, make sure you have that set up there. And then once you have that 
press down into the feet, hug all those tiny muscles around the hips in for support, lift the pelvic floor, lift the belly, open up across the chest, nice long spine. Elbows can keep the knees going straight in the direction of the toes. We'll change it up this time. Right hand can come out to the side, left arm can reach up. So you just open the chest to the left. It's a, it's a twist, but it's not the deepest twist. Then come back to center. Find center first before you switch sides. Then bring the left, down, left arm down and the right arm up. Hands come back together, malasana, pointing straight forward. Now bring the hands down to the mat, press into the legs to straighten the legs, heel toe the feet back to hip width distance if they were wider, inhale up halfway, exhale, hands down, back to plank pose, vinyasa. Right leg goes up and back, knee to nose, three-legged down dog. Right knee, right tricep, three-legged down dog. Right foot steps forward between the hands, come into your runner's lunge, reach the arms alongside the body, hover the chest low. Keep the chest where it is at this height. Start to spin open to the left, coming into that wide-legged goddess squat, reaching the arms all the way up. Maybe sit a little lower, knees and toes in the same direction. Know that you can open up your feet wider than the knees, so if that's happening, bring them in a little bit. Straighten the legs. Point the toes straight forward, then angle in the left toes, turn the right toes all the way out. Triangle pose, spread the arms out wide, shift the hips back as you reach the right arm forward, left arm up. Left arm reaches up and over the ear. Keep opening the chest, maybe the right arm floats up. Come up to standing, warrior two. Windmill the hands down to the mat, step back to plank pose, lower down halfway chaturanga, inhale up for your back bend, exhaling back, downward facing dog. Left leg reaches up and back, knee to nose. Inhale back, three-legged down dog. Left knee, left tricep. Three-legged down dog. Step the foot up between the hands, runner's lunge. Reach the arms alongside the body, keep the chest low. So you know where we're going. You're firing up the body here, getting it working so you have that support to start to open everything up to the right. Heels in, toes out, reach the arms up, wide-legged squat. Find that nice long spine. Find the height of your hips with the knees, either right in line, maybe a little bit higher. Stay focused with the eyes on one spot, straight in front of you. Lengthen the thigh bones. Press into the feet, come up to standing. Point the toes straight forward, then right toes angle in, left toes all the way out. Spread the arms out wide, take your time, triangle. Once you have it and you're fired up the legs, reach the right arm up and over the ear. Keep opening the chest. Start to get lighter with the left arm. Bring it up. Hold that beach ball. Press up to standing, warrior two.
Windmill the hands down to the mat. Step back to plank pose, vinyasa, back to downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forward, bring the feet forward. Inhale up halfway, exhale fold. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up, bring the hands together and down in front of the heart. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up halfway, exhale fold, come back into your yogi squat. Bring the hands together in front of the heart. Another option this time. So you can stay right here or bring the right hand down, left arm up. You can play with the bind. You can just go halfway and wrap the left arm behind the back, or you can wrap the right arm and see if the hands connect. But be honest with the knees. Keep pushing them out so they don't cave in. Open the chest. Just go to a place where it feels good in your body. If you have the binds half or full, start to release, making your way back to center. And we'll go straight to the other side. Left arm comes down, right arm reaches up. This might be enough. Or maybe you wrap the right arm behind the back. Maybe the left arm goes around that bent leg. Maybe the hands connect. Just make sure the right knee doesn't come crashing in. If you have some sort of a bind, left arm down, right arm up, come back to Malasana. Hands down to the mat, straighten the legs, heel toe the feet back to hip width. Inhale up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands down, step back to plank pose. Flow back if you want to, to downward facing dog. Otherwise, just go straight there. Right leg reaches up and back, knee to nose. Inhale back, three-legged down dog. Right knee, right tricep. Exhale back, three-legged down dog. Step the right foot forward, up between the hands. Feet hip width distance apart. Reach the arms alongside the body. Hover the chest low. Little different this time. You're shifting forward to warrior three. Shift the weight forward to the right foot. Lift that left leg up. Keep reaching the chest forward. Arms can stay back behind you. And then notice that that left hip wants to open. Keep that so that it's pointing straight down, left inner thigh working. Start to bend the standing legs, step back to that low lunge that we've been playing with. Reach the arms forward, bring the hands together, right in front of the heart, twist to the right. Hook the elbow outside of the right thigh, open the chest. Hands can stay together. If you want more, open up the arms wide. And if you feel really open, you could play with the bind here if that's happening. And that back knee, it can always come down too. But lift the chest wherever you are. Hips go down a little bit lower. Hands come back together. If you've taken a different arm variation, bring the hands back down to the mat. Step back to plank pose. Vinyasa, back to downward facing dog. Left leg goes up and back, knee to nose, three-legged down dog, left knee, left tricep, bring it up high, three-legged down dog, step the foot all the way up between the hands, feet hip width distance apart, reach the arms alongside the body. Warrior three when you're ready. Take your time. Make sure that left hip is hugging in. It's not swinging out. Then shift the weight forward. Press out through the right heel to lift the right leg up. Spin that right inner thigh up toward the sky so you don't open up the right hip. 
Start to bend the standing leg, stretch back to that low lunge you were just in, reach the arms forward, bring the hands together right in front of the heart, twist to the left, hook the elbow, open the chest. Whatever you did with the back knee on the first side works here. And then whatever arm variation you did on the first side, maybe you opened up the arms, maybe you played with the bind. Hands come back together if you took an arm variation. Bring the hands back down to the mat. Step back to plank pose. Last vinyasa if you want it. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. Once you get to downward facing dog, take a big breath in through the nose. On the exhale, side out. <sighs> Bring the knees down, child's pose. Big toes together, bring the forehead down, arms out in front of you or maybe back behind you. Now start to make your way to seated, use the hands. Bring the legs out in front of you. And then if you're way far back on your mat, scoot yourself forward so you can lie down onto your back with the mat still underneath you for support. And we'll set up for bridge pose. Point the toes forward, feet hip width distance apart. When you feel ready, press into the feet, lift the hips up. Arms can stay down by your sides or you can interlace the fingers underneath you. But you're pressing into the outer upper arms, lifting and spreading the chest open, pressing down into the legs. So there's plenty of support there and breathe, look up. See if you can get a little bit more space as you point the tailbone up between the knees. and slowly start to bring it down to the mat. Rest here for a couple of breaths. We'll do two more rounds of back bends. Next one is bridge. If you're feeling really open and you wanna go all the way up for Irva, that's certainly an option in this round, but in the next two rounds or just the third round. When you're ready, press into the feet, lift the hips up, start with bridge and then take it deeper if you want to or stay here. You could even take it down if you have a block and make this a supported bridge with a block underneath the sacrum. Slowly start to release, bring the hips back down. Rest here for a couple of breaths without counter posing. And we'll come back up. Third and final round, bridge, urdva, whatever's calling to you, take it. And with the legs, imagine you have a block between the thighs. So make sure there's some engagement there and they're not just relaxed. See if that helps you lift and spread the chest a little bit more. Sending the thigh bones away from you. Take another inhale wherever you are. Exhale brings you back down to the mat, nice and slow. Once you're laying down on the mat, widen the feet to the, hip, or to the outer edges of the mat and let the knees fall together. So knees are touching feet wide. You can bring the arms out like a T. If you don't have the space, you can cactus the arms. And then same thing we did before when we were seated. Keep the feet wide, just move the knees side to side. Come back to center, knees knock together, heel toe the feet back to hip width distance. Hug the right knee in toward the chest, left foot still on the mat. 
Now extend the left leg out in front of you. Bring this right knee across the body coming into a twist. So you'll need to scoot the hips over so that left hip's right underneath you and you're laying on the left side of the body as you reach over with the right arm. Gaze can fall over the right hand. And that left leg is active underneath you. So whatever you need to do to make that happen might be pressing out through the heel or pointing the foot. Start to make your way back to center, right foot's on the mat, hug the left knee in toward the chest. Keep the right foot on the mat. Extend the right leg out in front of you. Left knee comes across the body, shift onto the right side of the body, reach the left arm out to the side, coming into your twist, going the opposite direction right leg is working underneath you like you're standing on it. Start to make your way back onto your back. Bring the feet in so they're on the mat. Then hug the knees in toward the chest. Either rock up to seated or roll over to one side to come into seated for our hip opener. Facing the top of the mat, you'll bring the right shin forward, right knee in front of the right hip. We're coming back to 90-90. Left knee outside of the left hip. Feet are right under, the heel is right underneath the knees. And then point yourself forward so you're right over the right knee. You can still, still lean over to the right, but notice how you started. You probably can come more upright than you did before. And if you can come upright and not use the support of the hands, you can even bring the hands together like prayer. Pressing down into the legs, still spinning the chest forward. Breathe. If you have the hands easily together in front of the heart, you could start to play with leaning forward over that right shin. But think about the navel going more forward instead of down toward the mat. If you're forward, come back up. Bring the hands down by the sides if they're not already there. And we'll just shift to the back of the mat. Same thing, other side. So bring that left shin toward the back of the mat. Find 90-90 on this side. Left knee straight in front of the hip. Right knee outside of the right hip. Flex the feet. Turn the chest to point forward. Option to lean over to the left, but work toward sitting up a little bit more upright than wherever you started. Keep everything forward. If it's not a big challenge, bring the hands together in front of the heart, press down into the legs, and then you can start to play with leaning forward, reaching everything forward instead of down. Come back up if you're leaning forward. Use the hands down by the sides, open up to the side of the mat and come into a wide legged straddle. Some of us need to prop ourselves up. So if you feel like when you sit to the side, there's a lot of rounding in the lower back and you're just having a hard time propping yourself up, getting a blanket or a bolster, um, even a, whatever you have really, even a bath towel would work folded. Underneath the hips is nice. So sit up nice and tall, get that wide-legged straddle, and then you'll just start to fold forward. And this should feel pretty good after the 90-90 because your hips are pretty open. So upa vishta konasana. And you can keep the hands down with the elbows lifted, still reaching everything forward will be a nice way to keep that length in the lower back and still open up the hips. Feet are active, spread the toes even.
knees and toes going in the same direction, which is pointing up this time. Start to walk the hands back in, coming up to seated. Use the hands to find the bend in the legs, bringing the feet back together. Turn to face forward onto your mat. Lie down onto your back. Hug the knees in toward the chest. Rock side to side. Bring the nose up toward the knees. Close the eyes, curling up in a ball. Take a big inhale in through the nose. Hold it at the very top. Sip in a little bit more air through the mouth. And exhale, Shavasana. Extend the legs out in front of you. Arms come down by the sides. Adjust yourself till you feel comfortable. If you're feeling any tightness in the lower back, you can move the glutes down toward the heels or bend the legs and bring the feet out wide and knock the knees together. That's a nice relaxing place to be that gives your lower back plenty of space wherever you are come back to that soft wide face letting the body be heavy letting go of all the effort Start to take a deeper breath in through the nose, softly out of the mouth. Wiggle the fingers and the toes and stretch the arms overhead. Getting nice and long on your mat. You'll walk the feet in, bending the legs. Make your way over to your right side, laying in fetal position. And use the hands to bring yourself up to an easy cross-legged seat, sitting up nice and tall with the eyes closed, taking a moment with yourself in this stillness, this peace, this quiet, before you go back into the rest of your day, seeing what you need to take with you. Bring the hands together. Bow the head to first honor and acknowledge your heart and spirit as well as everyone around you practicing with us today and in your world. Bring the head back up, blink open the eyes, namaste. Thank you for joining. Hope you feel great.